Alright, so in this video we're going to look at recipes and what they are. Uh, we're going to cover off how they work and how you can build them, as well as looking at other options uh, regarding recipes, so how you can learn more about different types of recipes and what other content we have. So in our BuildExact account, I'm jumping into fixing carpentry because in this example I want to build a door recipe and show you through that and show you through how that works. To introduce, first of all, what a recipe is, so far we've dealt just with single items. So we've had one passage set, uh, one door, one set of rope handles, one doorstop, and it's all been one line equals one thing. Where a recipe is different is that one line can now become a group of things. So if I click on this build recipe button, one recipe can basically contain as many items as you like. And the beauty of this is that in my door example, I can say this whole door contains the door, the jam, uh, hinges, uh, maybe some paint for the door, um, skirt, labor if I want, and this can all be bundled into one group. It's good for two reasons. One is it makes the estimating a lot faster because you can just throw in whole assemblies. And secondly, it's good because recipes act really nicely as a converter. So if I tell it uh, in my recipe that, hey, a door contains 11 meters of skirt, for example, uh, what it will do is give me the end result of the number of meters of skirt I need, rather than me getting to the purchasing stage of build exact and having to figure all that stuff out. So I'm going to build this now. So we're going to say door, one door is $70. Now as I'm putting this together, the principle of all recipes is always going to be the same. The items that I build into this are always what fits into one of the unit measures. So to say that a different way, I'm basically telling it what fits entirely into one door. And then as I go and count the doors out and end up with maybe 15, it's going to multiply all of this out and tell me how many doors, how many meters of skirt. It's going to do all the maths, basically. So that rule of thumb is true, whether it's an each recipe or a lineal meter or a square meter or a cubic meter even. It's always going to be the same where one of these equals all of the items below it, and then we multiply it out. So we'll carry on with that in mind. So one door, $70. Jam, and as per usual, these prices are just example prices. Uh, the main thing that we want you guys to take away is kind of how this works. Handle. Skirt. Now this is where it's going to get a bit different. So far I've said one of these equals one door. This time I'm going to say 11 meters at let's say $3.20 a meter. And for my 15 doors, this is my total down here, it's gonna give me 165 meters of skirt across all the doors. And you can build really whatever you like. So if I say like labor, you can, and again, just an example, you could say, hey, the person who's doing this is 50 bucks an hour, and it should take them three quarters of an hour or an hour and a half or whatever you like to put this together, and it'll sum up the total number of hours, total cost to install, and again, does all the maths. Now that you've got a bit of a recipe in here, there's a couple of other things worth knowing. One is that once you've built the recipe, there's kind of two main things you can do with it. Uh, so what that is saying is, if you've built this and you wanna save it for next time and you wanna keep using it in other estimates, you can use this save as button and that will save it basically into the catalogs area. So it's uh, dropping it in there. There's a whole area just called my recipes where it's saving it. And this will allow you to name it, um, save it, give it a category, work out where it should save, etc. And then you can search for it next time. If you, on the other hand, decide, hey, look, I've, I've built it, but it's, it's, it's good for this time, not really ever usable again. Uh, you can just go close, and it will save to this estimate, 
but nothing else. So really two options there. Whichever way you go, you're probably gonna to want to update the quantity either by typing it in or using the calculator or by doing a takeoff. And just a note on this, the calculator and takeoff button that are here are 100% the same as the calculator and takeoff button that are here. It's really just that they're in two places to make it slightly easier. Another point worth making is around this actuals category box. Now, this is here for people who, um, who kind of know that they need it, uh, which basically what we're trying to say here is actuals category has a specific job and there's a lot of people who build recipes and honestly just never need this. Uh, but for people who build recipes and know what it does and know that they will need to do that, this is perfect, but it's, it's not everybody, that's for sure. So with that, we should explain what it does. Basically put, if I leave this box blank, um, the estimate items that are in this recipe don't move anywhere. They will always stay within the fixing carpentry category through the estimate and into the job. If on the other hand, I go, hey, put the, let's just say labor, put this into a category and you'll see I've got categories to pick from. I'm gonna type a new one though. Put this into a category called labor. What that will mean is that all the other items stay forever in fixing carpentry, but the labor item specifically when we get to the job side will move into a new category called labor. So it's really just a reallocation option. And the main uses that we see uh, of it so again, of the people who know they need it, are grabbing all the labor out of items and throwing it into its own category. That's one. The other is for people who want to go build massive recipes and think, you know it's going to contain frame, cladding, um, wrap, insulation, plaster, paint, all kinds of stuff across different trades. And they want to then split that up into the trade groups uh, for when they run their job. Again, if you don't need to use it, don't touch it, just leave it blank. And um, in leaving it blank, it's doing what it does, which is basically just ignoring, uh, ignoring that box. Fantastic. Final couple of points here is how to identify a recipe. So in a estimate, um, I know that it's a recipe because it's blue. And like anything that's blue in Build Exact, you should click on it. So like the recipe or the notes or the, the quote totals or the markup, all of that, it's blue. You should all click on everything. Clicking on it will pop it back open. If you are editing a category, which I just double clicked then to pop it open, that's just a shortcut. Um, the blue text disappears and it's replaced by this blue box. Uh, so that's how you know it's a recipe. Now, last but not least, um, we need to talk about just other options for recipes, how you can learn a bit more. So there are, oops, should definitely save that. Um, there, there are gonna be other videos on recipes. There's also gonna be other help content on recipes. So for example, within the FAQs, we specifically have content on framing and how to do that with recipes. Within the videos, we're going to have content on um, more advanced recipes. And uh, there's a few different videos on that. So if you wanna keep going with the recipe idea and learn more about it, just know that we have more content uh, than what we cover in this single video. Great, thanks very much. Cheers.